A TypeScript enum is a way to organize a collection of related values. Enum allows us to define a set of named constants that can have numeric or string values. In this video, I'm going to show you how to declare and use enums in TypeScript. To create an enum, we will use the enum keyword then its identifier following with curly braces. Let's say we want to store a set of user rows. The corresponding enum in TypeScript would be like this. By default, enum values start from 0 and increment by 1 for each member. It would be represented like this. However, you can change the number associated with an enum member by assigning to it explicitly. If we initialize support with 2, all of the following members are auto-incremented from that point on. In other words, support has the value 2, says has 3, user has 4, and admin has 0. It's not necessary to assign sequential values to enum members. They can have any values, even duplicate values. Numeric enums can also increase include members with computed numeric values. We are going to define a function that will return the row ID by receiving the row name. Then we will assign support with the function call. Why we have a computed numeric member? Uninitialized enum members must come first or come after other initialized members with numeric constants. In other words, if you don't initialize says, you will get an error. To use an enum, access any member as a property of the enum itself. You can access it as an array using a member name. Numeric enum members also receive a reverse mapping from enum values to enum names. We can also declare types using the name of the enum. Let's say we want to store a user object. First, we declare an interface called user, and we then use user rows enum as a type of row property. I'm then going to create a constant called user1, and we then use the interface we just created as its type. In string enums, each member has to be initialized with a constant string value. In other words, it cannot have a computed member. 